Hello guys, this is a quick video on um, Sea Cleaner. Um, for people who are looking for a slightly more advanced way of um, cleaning their computer and, and optimizing it for performance and things like that, Sea Cleaner is really the way to go. Uh, it's completely free. I'll put the link in the uh, in the box at the right hand side of the screen so that you can download it yourselves and uh, give it a try. Uh, so C cleaner. Basically, it's not just a cleaner, um, and we'll go through that in a second. But we'll look at the cleaner first. Here you see everything that's going to clean, and you can add some more advanced um, checks there as well, which will take make search a, a bit longer. But um, these are the main ones. Um, I don't use Internet Explorer. I use Firefox. So. Um, these are fairly redundant, but Windows Explorer is Internet Explorer is integrated into Windows Windows Explorer, so yeah, I always run it anyway. Uh, and you can also do your applications as well. So you see my Internet Cache there, which I'm just going to uncheck quickly. Uh, Foxit Reader, blah 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 blah. So there's certain everything that you can you can check or uncheck if you don't want it to clean it. Okay, then we come down to here and go run cleaner. So now it's just checking for things that it can, it can stuff that you don't need that, that it can get rid of, and it's completely safe. It won't delete anything that you definitely, definitely need to run your system. So you see here we've got temporary files and uh, emptied recycle bin, lots of Windows files, program data files, just stuff that you, you don't need. And see it's taken up 118.4 meg of my uh, of my disk space. So I don't want 118 gig, uh, meg of my of my disk space to be used up, so I'm gonna run the cleaner. And it'll get rid of it. As simple as that. Okay. Um next option is the registry. The registry is basically um a resource that keeps Windows running. It's got every single command for every single program and file extensions and things like that and um, DLLs. Um, and this will check for any issues in your registry. So if you've got any uh, unwanted file extensions that you don't use anymore, obsolete software and installer files that you don't need, um, type libraries, all different kinds of stuff. So we just go scan for issues. This one takes a little bit longer because there's a hell of a lot for the software to get through when it's checking these. So it'll just take a few seconds. And see, so it's got one, which is an ActiveX COM issue. And you can see the full path of it there if you want to go into the registry and actually look for it yourself, which is kind of cool. Still searching. You'll find that the first few um, searches take quite a long, a long time to to complete. But when it gets down to here, it'll just zip through them like it's just now. So I've got one issue with my registry. Uh, I'm going to go fix selection issues, and then it says, "Do you want to back up the registry?" Uh, if you're really not sure on what you're doing, then um, creating a backup for the registry will be good, just in case, in case you delete it. Um, and it creates a problem and you can restore it again. Uh, I'm going to click no. And it says here fix issues. I'm going to fix issue. Issue fixed. Close. Done. Okay, next one is tools. So um, it has got a, an uninstaller. Um, this is not the greatest uninstaller in the world. Uh, there are better ones like Revo and things like that. Um, but this will launch the uninstaller of the particular program that you don't want. And startup. So here you can find everything that's every program that is going to start when you start Windows. Um, if you don't want that particular application to start up, then you can disable it in here. And if we go down here, we've got options, uh, just things that you can settings that you can tweak and things like that. So that's C Cleaner. Very small, easy to download, and a great little utility if you need to keep things um, clean. So there you go. Please rate, comment and subscribe. Hope it helped. Thank you very much.